Hey, welcome to Lake House Live. Um, today we have San Tropez in the studio. They are going to kick us off with a song. So take it away, y'all.
All right. That was their song titled Swear Off the Sunlight. Um, I guess everyone in here is a vampire. Um, I can relate. Yes. My kids are vampires. (laughs) Well, thank you guys for coming out today. I'm very excited to have you all in the space. Thanks thank for you. Having thank us. you yeah, for, having for having us. us for sure. Of course, um, and I'd love to hear about the music that you guys are making right now and what's been going on. Um, so noisy guitar rock, um, you know, uh, dream pop elements, some shoegaze elements, post rock stuff. Um, yeah, it's mostly it. Nice. And and when are you guys? Uh, planning to kind of have some stuff come out and and show it to the world i think it will be this show right now yes no i think these songs actually will come out before the two of the songs that we're doing today before the record record. coming out before the record nice well you get to hear it first here which is pretty exciting lake house exclusive exclusive um (laughs) we recorded the uh, the other two are from our uh 2023 release um which we uh, recorded here as well. Yeah. They're yeah, called yeah. Maybe Tomorrow. Yeah, you guys are no strangers to this space. Nope. Um, so it's always it's always nice to have everyone here. We love it here. Yeah, um, we do. Mm-hmm. I always look forward to seeing everyone drinking a Bloody Mary in the morning. Always. And I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say that. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Always. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, your music is always super fun to hear and – Really awesome to see in a live setting. So everyone that's watching today, I'm sure, is super excited. Excited. Um, so I think we should uh, we should kind of just kick it to the next song, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah. Right. It's off the Let's do. current album, maybe tomorrow. All right. So we're going to let them play another tune. This one is off of an album that is already out that came out this year. Um, it's called Apartment Voice. Take it away, y'all.
Great. Thank you guys so much for playing that. It was amazing. Um, it definitely shows like a lot of unison in this room. I know that some of you guys have played together before in other bands. Um, so I guess you want to kind of go into a little bit about what brought you guys together to form this one? The rich history. <laughs> it was actually this this bass I'm holding. So mm. I think I got it January six years ago, and I posted on Facebook, "Who wants to start a shoegaze band?" And in a few hours, Ralph and Albie and I were setting up practice. Wow! And uh, Ralphie yeah. had a whole treasure to- trove of songs, and it just it just started. That's amazing. That happened really quickly too. It was, it was it, we've all, <laughs> as they say, it, it did escalate very quickly. <laughs> yes, it did. We've all known each other for a very long time. Though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys want to talk a little bit about that too? What other bands you guys have been in, and and uh, other, you know, the history behind that. Ralph and I actually lived together in yeah. New Brunswick in, in the nineteen nineties. Yeah, um, and played together in a for a little bit a band called the Stunt Cox. And uh, Ralph was always doing his other, you know, Aviso O'Hara he was playing in. And uh, one of the drummers from Aviso O'Hara lived there for a while, bass player from the Stunkcocks. So it was kind of the band house of New Brunswick for a, one of the band houses one of, of yeah, New yeah. Brunswick. Yeah, so, uh, it's definitely a late night place to go. Yeah. To. Jim Testa famously always slept on our sofa oh, wow. after a weekend out. <laughs> so we'd always have Jim Testa on our sofa when we wake up from a particular fun night out there's that back then there was three bands playing at different clubs at once you know yeah, so you're yeah. kind of jumping between and catching this like one three or four nights there. a week too yeah 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 so uh it was very active music scene back in new brunswick it was yeah fun it definitely 90s. still is active but i feel like it's kind of taken a small downturn it's and gone. just had to really just go literally go underground it went <laughs> underground yeah. into basements but exactly. it was always in basements like new brunswick always had a vibrant yeah, basement scene. It's just now it's the only place you can catch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stinks. Yeah, there'd be house shows. Or, yeah, all the yeah. It, you know, when you rented off campus, there was always a like a full size basement you could put a show on for a couple shows, and then they were gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Until so somebody called the cops. Yeah, and which then they somebody always else did. The, cops. the yeah. police, <laughs> the police broke up half the practices you ever had tried to have. You know, or the landlords. <laughs> right. That was another one. Yeah. yeah. So do you guys do you guys run into that now when you practice? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've gone legit. We yeah, uh, we yeah. have a space up in Hoboken, right at the Newman. Right at the Newman Leather Yeah, building. nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. So Andy's rented there for years. Like, how long have you had a space there? I'd say since mid two thousand five, two thousand six. Right. These two played in the New Brunswick scene yeah. as well. Yeah, in the nine. I think we started Duochrome ninety. Three? Yeah. 30 years rhythm section. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Not, too, yeah. Too, not too shabby. And then we did different things. And then we were in Magic Mountain for a few years before this. And we recorded here as well uh, back then. Well, no wonder you guys are so in unison yeah. to yeah. have a rhythm section. And the section singer of Magic Mountain <laughs> lived in the house that Ralphie and I lived in as well. Yeah. So it's another. And ran a label. Like there was labels going yeah, on. Yeah, he ran a zine out Frank of there. Frank ran a label. That's, yeah. I had a Way label from 90 to 95. And Phil was, we just found him outside yeah. here. So yeah, he was, yeah. We, we asked him if he plays keyboards. We don't even know his last so. name. So. Yeah. He said no, we said perfect. But he said, yeah, I know, I know C and G. So. That's all you need That's to know. That's all you need to know in this band. Phil. Honestly, I feel like you actually could stand down outside and like maybe find oh, yeah, a keyboard here. player at any point I think in so. this building. <laughs> Be Not like, to hey, sell. you want to just come up here? <laughs> Not to sell Phil short, of course. He was also a New Brunswick uh, fixture. And yeah, yeah, the whole time. He has yeah. a band called Bla Flugel as well. Yeah, Bla yeah. Flugel. Bla Flugel, yeah. Danish for Bluebird. Yeah, and I was a fan of Centropay. I mean, I've known these guys for a while too, but I was a fan of Centropay. And, and so to sort of be asked to sort of join join the, the guys, it's been it's been a great experience. Yeah, good stuff. That's amazing. Yeah, for the, for the big Centro heads out there, they know <laughs> we've we've had five <laughs> keyboardists and five drummers um, in the past five years. So we always tell these two to... To watch I out. I, yeah. I think I may be the fourth, actually. <laughs> oh, maybe yeah. the fourth? It's kind of spinal tap. Oh, I'm, yes. I'm sorry. We were, we've been, we've been talking to the fifth. Oh, fourth okay. And fifth. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Frank, you weren't supposed to talk about that. Sorry. It's okay. It'll be worked out before this comes out. <laughs> I really hope that you're in the band when this comes out. Me too. <laughs> okay. So um, it feels like 
being in this space with you guys, there's obviously like this really amazing connection between all of you. And the music obviously shows that too. It's amazing to hear a little bit of the backstory too, to know that like you guys weren't just making music, but you were a part of putting music out and trying to expose music and, and keep a scene going. And, and I think that happens, you know, a lot. And as we get older, we just kind of continue to foster it or like push to support it to, or push to give support to the people who are trying to continue and do it, continuing to do it. Um, you know, we find that like in Asbury, it gets harder and harder every day as well. So it's, uh, it's nice to see that there's still a scene in the space that you guys started creating. Yeah. It, it, the scene just moved across the river, right? Everybody just, yeah. Over a, to Highland Park. A good portion yeah, of the, yeah. yeah, a good yeah. portion of the New Brunswick people that we all ran with moved there. Got Pino, well, got Pino's up and running with shows, and it's, it's just been like place. a second home. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Frank, uh, Phil, and I all live in Highland Park. We could walk to Pino's, right? If not for the amplifiers and guitars that you have to carry. So <laughs> I, I usually keep them overnight after a gig. I've yeah. done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I've kept my debit card there for over a month. <laughs> oh my God. It, kept it open behind the bar. <laughs> it's, our, it's our home base. That's amazing. It's a great venue too. So yeah, it's yeah, definitely a place to look out for, for shows and for local bands that are watching this too. It's always a good place to try and get a show at as yeah. well. Um, okay. So let's do our questionable questions so that you guys can get on with the rest of your days. Um, so as we know, I have this bowl that's kept in our lobby and a bunch of people ask random questions in it and I ask you guys and hopefully it's a fun question. All right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, this is actually a good question. I just, reading it is funny. Um, <laughs> so I've been asked to do a gesture while I, um, while I ask the question. So for the camera, By all means. um, <laughs> so do you believe in soulmates? Wait, were you just winking at us? Yeah, I had to oh. wink. That's what it said. <laughs> oh. oh, it said, do you believe in soulmates? And then said a wink. Oh, so I, I guess this is like, you have to have a soulmate yeah. to put up with like doing the stuff oh, yeah. <laughs> with the families yeah. we have and the kids and, mm -hmm. the, you know, just our busy schedule. So, yeah, soulmates. Caring, giving, partners, sure. Soulmates, yeah. yes. Yes. Agreed. Someone that'll 100%. put up with you and let you in the house if you forgot your keys <laughs> and not just leave you outside to freeze yeah. with the uh, <laughs> with the raccoons. I yeah. feel like you may have you may have experienced Speaking that before. From experience. <laughs> that was not a soulmate, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say we yeah we dedicate this to all of our soulmates and and to most of our kids. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I would say kids are soulmates too. Yeah, they yeah. can be. They can be. They can be. They can be a lot of things. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I agree with you guys. I think that there has to be soulmates in this world, and I think there's a. Uh, you know, there's not just soulmates that we spend our whole lives with. I think there's soulmates that we we spend a little bit of time with and learn a lot about ourselves with those people. And we might not, you know, experience everything in life with them. They might just be in our life for a period of time and then we move on. And I think that that's, that's very valuable. Absolutely. Yeah, nice. Well said. Absolutely. Yeah. Andy and I are more funk mates. <laughs> but, you know, Frank completes me. Yeah, oh, we do. Do. yeah. I mean, no, I know, and it's corny, but yeah, I mean, we've been playing, I don't know, a few years ago, somebody was in the practice space and asked Andy and I, like, well, what's our secret? And I'm like, oh, I'm always listening to what Andy's doing. And Andy's like, I'm always listening to what Frank's doing. So I don't, I don't know how we got to get across the finish line. Like, That's love right there. Maybe yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. It's an unspoken language. <laughs> As the love language is. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to let you guys play your last song and get on with your day. Um, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate having you in the space, as always. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having yeah. us. Thank, thank you. you. And to the camera folks as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We got Evan back there yeah. killing it. We got Evan's Ben and Will it. also killing it. 
Um, we don't know what we'd do without these guys. So um, thanks to them too. Um, and if you are watching and you like what you see, please make sure that you go follow San Tropez on social media. Um, check them out wherever you listen to music and keep supporting and look out for the new album that's going to come out. Um, and if you like what you see here as well, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, so Crush that like button and smash subscribe. Smash it. Smash it. <laughs> All right, so let's let you guys play your last song titled Valley in the Shore. Take it away. <laughs>